Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to factorize using the sum and the difference of two cubes. Now, the two formulas for these, they look very similar. Uh, here they are here. So this is the sum of two cubes, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. The difference looks very similar, except now it's minus and we have a minus b plus or times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, the way we remember which formula is which, uh, in the first set of brackets, the a plus b or the a minus b, the sign is actually the same as the thing you're trying to factorize. In the second bracket, the first sign is going to be different. So here it's plus and minus, minus and plus. And then the second sign, that's always going to be plus. Now, let's take a look at two examples here. I have x cubed plus 125. When you look at that straight away, it doesn't really look like it's the sum, of, sum or the difference of two cubes. It's actually the sum of two cubes. We can write this as x cubed plus 5 cubed. It's 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So using my formula for the sum of two cubes, it's going to be the first plus the second. So that's going to be equal to x plus 5, then it's going to be the first squared, so that's x squared, minus the first times the second, so minus x times 5, plus the second squared, plus 5 squared. Now, I'll multiply everything out inside that brackets, and we get x plus 5 times x squared. x times 5 is minus 5x, and then 5 squared is 25. So x cubed plus 125 is equal to x plus 5 times x squared minus 5x plus 25. Now, let's take a look at this other example over here, which is a little bit trickier. I'm going to rewrite this as, well, 64 is actually 4 times 4 times 4. So that's 4p to be cubed minus 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. So that's 3q to be cubed. And now we have, sorry, cubed. Now we have the difference of two cubes. So we're going to use this formula here. So that is going to be equal to the first minus the second. So that's 4p minus 3q times the first squared. So that's 4p to be squared plus the first times the second. So that's plus 4p times 3q and plus the second squared. So plus 3q squared. Now, I've got a lot of expanding to do inside here. So that's equal to 4 p minus 3q times, now 4p to be squared, that's 4p times 4p, which is 16p squared. 4p times 3q is going to give us 12pq. And then 3q to be squared is going to be 9 Q squared. So there we have factorized 64p cubed minus 27q cubed, which gives us 4p minus 3q times 16p squared plus 12pq plus 9q squared. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please, if you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comments below. Um, there's a link here now to two different videos that shows a more difficult uh, example of the sum of two cubes and a more difficult, difficult example of the difference of two cubes.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.